Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today we've got the Vikings versus kind of a more of a Roman sort of feel in this first one. So what I want to do today, I want to test out the Vikings, I want to test out the Samurai, the two new units that we have, because we already played with the Chicken Man Man in the previous episode. Uh, so if you want to check that out, go ahead and find it. There is a link to the complete playlist in the video description. Also, if you have more ideas on things you'd want to see, go ahead and drop them below in the comments. Vote the ones up that you want to see, and we're going to do the best we can to get to that. These new characters and these new maps can be a lot of fun. Uh, first off, we're going to do these Vikings versus this Roman line or the, the shields in the front with spearmen in the back. I don't know what to do. We'll try the winter map and maybe the desert map too and, and see if there's a difference. Oh my. I love the way these guys look, so check them out. They hold the they hold the axe or the hatchet just a little bit high for my liking, but I want to see. Oh, they're quick too. Wow. They've gone right into here right away, and it looks like it looks like they pretty much killed the shield line right away. Uh, I don't know what they're gonna do against the rest of it though. Oh, we got guys that are hanging out along the wall. Excuse you. <laughs> and it, oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, here we go. This is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the individual battles as they circle around. They're like a bunch of wolves here, aren't they? Oh wow, that was almost a lunge. Okay. Now you, you're going to hold your own. Man, they do lunge. The Vikings are nasty. They are very nasty. And there's one left here. Oh, you missed. <laughs> you goofball. Get wrecked. Oh, you missed too. You tried kicking. Oh, they somehow they killed each other. That was that was a good attempt. <laughs> oh, there it is. The battle. Wow, that was that was pretty amazing. I want to try the same thing on the desert map. Ooh, that's kind of cool how they, they float down into the way like that. I kind of wish there was a way that we could, like, generate our own maps. Wouldn't that be cool? Like a, a map generation? Oh, wow. They hold their spears up now. And as they, they go ahead towards the line, they drop them down. I didn't notice that before. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this guy. He's kind of... You got your shield, buddy. You're holding that in the wrong way. <laughs> I want to see... Can he do anything with his life? Not really. Oh, he died. I feel like the shieldman might have gotten a buff. I feel that might be the case. Oh, there's two. Two versus a bunch. Oh, well, there's still two. They're grouping up. They're brothers in arms. Nice. They're taking him out. Taking him out. Oh, he's down. So we've got one versus five. <laughs> well, that's too bad. Uh, Vikings aren't as good as I thought they were. So let's try them in this Japanese map. I think this one is gorgeous with the pinks. I was never expecting like a pink tree in this game when we played through it. Oh, they're gonna fight in the water too. Maybe the Vikings are so quick that they just go right over things. Oh, <laughs> look at that guy. He just fell flat on his face in the river. Whoopsies, you don't wanna do that in battle. It's like, oh, here, here's an angry horde of dudes that are upped on shrooms and they're gonna, they're gonna jump in and, and try to kill you. And then you fall on your face in water. And you're like, well, that wasn't so hard. Nothing like a raging barbarian. Oh, wow. Maybe. Maybe. There's only one left. Oh, how's he going to do? He did it. Wow. So we did one. One of the barbarians won, and the rest of them, not so much. That's crazy. Let's try it. Should we try the hills map? I, wanted, I, I want the Vikings to be really good, but it feels like this is still a pretty solid line. And especially with these guys holding their, their spears up like they are, because they get stuck down below. Let's watch from this side. Man, they go through right away, and they just cleave through the shields, but these spears are what's doing it to them. And then they come up here. Yeah. Oh, they're holding each other. Ouch. Everything's stuck together. And there's only like two or three left over here. These guys, they're like, my, no, my axe is taller than your axe. No, mine's bigger. <laughs> yeah. And 12. And now they're holding legs. These guys are a little bit strange on this end. Oh, yep, so the spear is what's doing it. The spear is totally annihilating. Oh, he jumped over it. Look at that move. Oh, Kenny, Kenny, you're gonna die! You're gonna die, Viking man! He, he definitely, oh, he's still alive! He's got this. He doesn't have that. He's, he's done. 
Rest in pieces. Next up, what I did is I just transplanted the Vikings for the Samurai. I've never played with these besides that uh, the first little one. They seem slower than the Vikings. I'm wondering how good their offense is because their defense is probably pretty small. Ooh. Ooh. Samurais are... are weak. <laughs> They're very, very weak against the shield. That's rough. Maybe if we put them in their home zone of Japan, then things will be differently. Because they look really awesome. I love how that sword looks. I'm going to have to fight these guys against the Vikings too and see how that goes. But I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what to do next. I kind of want to take the samurai after a group of peasants. I think that's where they're supposed to shine. I feel like uh, that would be it. Oh, yep. And man, that shield wall is just too devastating. Especially with the backed up with the the spearman behind. I feel like the spearman got a buff. Wow. Especially he just jabbed it right through two people. The spearman might be really, really strong now. Let's try 38 of these guys versus 100 peasants. These are the samurai versus the 100 peasants. I don't know how this will go. The It'll probably be in the water. Most of the fight will be in the water. Oh, what would happen if we ran a chariot through the water? That could be interesting. And these guys are killing each other. Huh. Yeah, that sword is is pretty good if if it can do if it can connect. Cuz it can hit like three or four people. Oh, just threw it through. Did that have It looked like there's a shine. Did you see that? Let's drop it down to 75 and see what happens. I feel like this is a, a little bit better, especially since these guys seem to kill each other pretty easily. That knife is so sharp, does so much damage. There is a little gleam. Saw another one. Oh, man, these guys are all about killing themselves. Yikes, they need to be worked on a little bit more. They can't be in close quarters at all. Maybe it's maybe just a like an elite unit. Like only a few of them. Oh, yeah, be careful, dudes. Look at these three. These three are doing it for the entire team. Uh-oh. Yep, you killed your buddy. I think these guys can do it. Watch the second guy kill his friend. Oh. Oh, that was so close. He could have cleaved like four of them at the end. How about let's fight him against some chariots, because I want to see what happens when the chariot goes through the water. Uh, well, that was interesting, anyway. <laughs> these these guys really like to kill themselves. That's that's all I know. Ooh, <laughs> red likes to win, too. Where'd that third one go? I had a third one, right? Yeah, I did. What? What happened to it? Did it drive off the... It might have drove, driven off the edge. Oh, that'd be hilarious. I gotta follow these guys and see what happens to them. Bloop. Wow. Whoa. Let's try six. Let's see what happens to six chariots coming in. Dun 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 Oh, he tried jumping in sideways. Is he gonna, they're gonna do it. I'm pretty sure the samurai are gonna win. Yep, the samurai are definitely gonna win. Oh, the horse is stuck. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Wow. <laughs> Come on, horsey. Come here, boy. Get wrecked. Oh, decapitated the horse. That was awesome. How about just a, a regular chicken man? Just a, a single one. Because they got all the chickens that are coming across too. And this could be, this is where, this is where the chicken man makes his money. All the chickens coming across. Hee <laughs> hee, there it goes. Oh, they're stuck in the water. He's going to do it. <laughs> get wrecked, get wrecked, samurais. You're totally, nope, they couldn't do it. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm going to move the chicken man up front. See how that goes. Okay, up front. That's about as far up front as you can go. And now maybe there won't be so many chickens. I would just want to see this little dude getting cleaved. I think that'd be kind of cool to do. I think the samurais would be very strong as like a, a, a secondary unit. Oh, I should put him against the footmen. That's what I should do. Because this is really... Oh, they're going to make it. They're going to make it. Yeah, they did it. Congratulations, Samurai. Oh, that shine is so neat. Okay, this is one that you guys are probably going to be asking for, and this is the Samurai versus the Footmen. This is going to be an epic battle, because we have the long swords over here versus the Katanas. And these things shine, and these are just kind of dull and rusty. <laughs> and, yep, there they go. Oh, I wonder, oh, so they can't do a conga line either. This is going to be good. I want to see. So they're fighting in the water. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh, did you see that guy? Oh, they're they're throwing him over top. This is crazy. Here they comes. If he's gonna pull it up, that upward swing is very deadly. Oh no way! The samurais have beat the army of Daves. 
Oh, let's play it on the hills map. I feel like this is going to be a little bit different when they're not trying to get through the water. Where do we want to look first? Should we... Oh, they're killing each other. That's that's always good. Yeah, these guys don't have a problem killing each other. Youch. Okay, watch over here. They're going to swing down and pull up. Nope. Oh, here they come. This is where it's at. Oh, they're carrying around a guy. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it's a 2v1. Ooh, blue victory. That's awesome. We're going to try one more map. Which one do we want? Do we want the desert? I think we'll go with the desert. Here it comes. The desert map. The army of footmen versus the army of katanamen. I guess samurai. That wouldn't be. Oh, no way. Whoa. How did that work? They dominated over here. I wonder if there's some sort of bias because this isn't symmetric at all, is it? I don't think so. Just to make sure there's no bias. We're going to try it on the winter map. See how this goes. I mean, there, there probably is. This one looks different, too, because that side's higher than the side. I heard you over here smacking each other. You don't want to do that. That's bad for the hit points. I love watching that sword come down. Like this guy here. Watch him. Oh, oh, who's going to do it? Looks like the footmen are still a little bit stronger than the katana. Ouch. <laughs> he, he didn't live very long, did he? And here's the battle that I've been looking forward to. The Vikings versus the Samurai. I, I don't know how this is going to go. I think that the Viking shield is going to protect them against the Samurai attacks. And the little derpy little hand axe that they've got is going to take them down. Ooh. Maybe not. They cleave through? I don't know. This is pretty close. Oh, oh, oh. If the Samurai hits over the top, it will not stop it. Oh, he's, he's jumping backwards. Oh, he's down. This hand axe is pretty strong. Oh, how did that work? Turned around backwards. Ooh, another kill. We've got 2v1. How's this going to go? Man, they they rip apart each other really quickly. Oh, he did it. He did it. The Viking for the win. That's definitely not Teddy Bridgewater. Now let's see if the samurai have home field advantage here in Japan. I should play like Japanese music in the background. Oh, I bet they will eventually. We'll have to play through the campaign, too, to see what the new campaign levels are like. They're in the water. This is going to go to the more agile one, I believe. Not necessarily the strongest one. Ooh, backhanded. Yeah. Um, I don't know who's more agile out of these. Oh, he's got a team kill. Oh, and he's down. We got two left. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, wow. I didn't realize this guy was coming up. Oh, and they still killed them both. They're cross-eyed. <laughs> Are you cross-eyed? I can't tell. I will go one more on the winter map because I really want to see this. Are you guys all cross-eyed? Nope. Nope. How right, about well, you guys? Are you all cross-eyed? Nope. Here it comes. That is such a cool picture. Man, it's so nice having different backgrounds in the game, too. I enjoy that thoroughly. Ooh. Nice, nice chop. We're gonna do one more on the desert just to see what it looks like. Man, this is so clean. I, I love how this looks. Oh, nice kill. Here it comes. Maybe not. They're gonna circle the circle the roses for a while. Wagons. That's that's the word. Circle the wagons. Come on, dude. You can do this. He's like, I'm a chicken, I'm a chicken, man. Watch, watch me be a chicken man. I'm going to run in circles and then get cleaved. Yep. Oh, nice victory for the red team. Do you want to do one more? I think so. We might as well do the desert just to see what it looks like. I kind of like this one because it's got this big valley in here and you never know what to expect. All right. Looks like they got two team kills and the battle lines have been set. Looks like... Man, the, see that the Vikings... They seem to go in a lot faster. I feel like the samurai have more agility. Like they can they can go in circles faster um, and not have to run around so much. I feel like that's gonna. Oh, that was nasty. Here you are. Kaboom. Hmm. Yep, blue victory for sure. Well, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Tabs. I hope you've enjoyed setting the Samurai against the Vikings. I did. It was it was fun. It was good seeing new units in the game. I'm really excited to see how this, this game actually develops and takes off over the next year or so. Uh, if you did like it, let me know down below in the comments section. Go ahead and leave a, a comment on what you'd like to see in the game or what you'd like to see as a custom scenario that we can go through. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>